You're listening to the Confidence Within podcast. If you are a successful professional entrepreneur who is nonetheless struggling with the fear of public speaking, then you are in the right place. This podcast is all about igniting your inner confidence, learning to show up with genuine authority and brilliance, and becoming the best version of yourself. I'm your host, Victoria Eliasnyansky, and welcome to my show. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Confidence Within podcast. My guest today is Irina Sorrells. Irina is originally from Colombia. She works with a nonprofit organization helping survivors of domestic and sexual violence and sex trafficking. In 2020, Irina was recognized as the Prevention Educator of the Year for the entire state of Indiana. She joined my Brilliant Speakers Academy program a few years ago when she realized that her severe fear of public speaking was in the way of pursuing her dream of becoming an international speaker. Since she finished the program, she founded the Irina Sorrells Academy, a training center for women who want to become advocates for survivors of sexual and domestic abuse. She wrote a book called Your Inner Heroine, A Guide for Battered Women, and she now travels around the world as a speaker, talking about domestic and sexual violence prevention. Please welcome Irina to the show. Irina, I am so excited you're here. I haven't seen you in forever. How are you doing? Yes, thank you, Victoria. I am super happy, super excited when you told me about the, this podcast because I have not seen you for a while and this is a great opportunity to, to see you and talk to you again. This is super exciting. Wow, thank you. I know there were a lot of things happening in your life since you enrolled in Brilliant Speakers Academy coaching program, which was two or three years ago now. It's been a while. It's been a while back. But tell me, first of all, tell me what you did before you joined the program and why you decided to join the program. Yeah. Well, when before I, I joined the program, I was recently starting working with survivors of domestic and sexual violence. I was, I got a job in a nonprofit organization helping survivors and I, and I needed to go and give conference, go to the schools, go in, in the community and talk about prevention and this type of thing. So I was so scared because English is not my first language. So I was super ashamed speaking in English. And I thought, well, I want, I want public speaking classes. I need public speaking classes. And I bought, I bought books. I, I remember I bought, I, I used to watch uh, tech talks and several things, but I said, no, I need something deeper. I need something special. So I started looking online. Oh, I don't remember how I got your information and everything I saw, I said, this is what I needed. This is what I am looking for. And I enrolled immediately. I didn't think much because I said, this is what I need. Really, I have never seen something like that. And I enrolled and it was the best decision, the best decision I took during that top. It, it was during the pandemic, I think, or, or I think, we, yes, we, it was during the pandemic. Yes. I remember you enrolling and I remember you at the very beginning of the program. You needed to do coffee with Irina or something like this. I remember you were trying to uh, record those conversations and I remember we were working through them and you were so scared. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember. You know what? Yes, uh, uh, on Friday, because of the COVID situation, on Fridays, I was doing a coffee, coffee, coffee break, coffee break. I remember coffee break. And during those coffee break, I think uh, I think they were like a 30 minutes on Friday, Friday, and I needed to speak about what I do about domestic violence, sexual violence. And I remember I was petrified. It was horrible. It was terrible for me. I remember you giving me tips and telling me how to, to do it and what to say. I remember you coaching me because I was it was for me. Wow, super difficult. And now I speak everywhere. 
Tell me about now. Tell me about now. So tell me how your life has changed, what you've done in the last few years since you have graduated from Brilliant Speakers Academy. Oh my gosh. Well, let me tell you that after this program with you, this program changed my life because my dream, I think I always told you, Victoria, my dream is I want to be an international speaker. I want to travel everywhere and I want to be able to, to speak and, and talk about this job I do and I love. And I remember that, oh, this is my dream, but how am I going to become a, a, an international speaker? Well, at least I need to start with something. And see, the coffee break was the first thing. The coffee breaks, the coffee break was the, my first exposure to the public online. Then I started after the after COVID was over. I started uh, conferences in the schools, uh, churches, and little by little, little by little, I started developing this career. And now I have been invited in other to other countries to speak to to give a testimony about my life and about my book because I wrote a book after that. Remember that you helped me also. We had a coaching session and I told you I am writing a book. I need your help. So this book also opened a lot of doors because a lot of interviews, people started interviewing me. I'm, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. You just it's just melts my heart to hear how successful you are and everything that you're doing right now. And what are your plans for the future? What are you trying to do still? What are you working on right now? I open an academy. I have an academy, a mentoring academy. So I became a mentor of mentors. And what I do is I train women who want to help survivors of domestic and sexual violence. So practically, I train these women to do what I do because that is my job, my regular job, my full-time job is with, with an organization helping survivors. So I created this academy to teach women, to train them to do this job because no, no many people do this type of job. It's not easy because it's a lot of emotional draining, you know, but, but when you have someone, when you have a mentor, it's like, like you, when I had you as a mentor, as a coach, I could overcome my fears. So it's the same with this situation about working with survivors of domestic and sexual violence. You need a mentor who walked you through how to help them in a, in a, in a, in a good way, you know, in a way that you will not become uh, born out because people have the tendency to, to become born out with this type of job. So I am super excited with this new challenge in my life and I love it. Another thing I forgot it. Let me tell you, starting, I think in May, for one year, I will have a radio show. Once a week, I will have my program. So my program, it will be in Spanish, but my program is Talking Without Taboos with Irina. You know, taboos, Talking Without Taboos with Irina. So I, we will be talking about sexual violence, domestic violence, child violence, everything, everything. I will bring guest speakers, you know, to talk about different things related with, with this topic. So I will be doing that for, I have a contract for one year to do that. It's a Christian radio that will be in Indiana, Chicago, other states but also that will be in Spotify and YouTube, uh, many places. So I am, wow, yes, I forgot that. I'm super excited. I'm so proud of you. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is, and this is something that you wanted. You always wanted to help. Yes. I remember it back, yes. back when you joined the program. That was the only thing yes. you were talking about. I want to help women. I want yes. to help. And it's, it's, it's yeah. so wonderful. So wonderful. So Irina, tell my listeners, what was your favorite thing about working with me inside of the Brilliant Speakers Academy? Oh my gosh, everything, Victoria. First, okay, you, you are so professional. I love that. You are very sweet, very kind, and you have a lot of knowledge. So it was so good because remember, we had a Facebook group. So that helped me a lot to, to learn how to mentor someone online. You are awesome. You are awesome, really. You are Thank an excellent you. teacher. You are an excellent mentor, excellent coach. I will be grateful with you forever, my whole life. 
Irina, thank you. Thank you. And last question for you. If someone was on the fence about working with me uh, inside Brilliant Speakers Academy, what would you tell them? Tell them that Victoria is an excellent teacher, an excellent mentor, and don't hesitate, please. It's so easy to work with Victoria. Her program is fantastic. I mean, you will not find an, a better program. And, and Victoria gives you all the, the accompaniment and all the help you need to become a great public speaker. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you for coming over. Thank you for sharing. I am so excited about your journey. I just cannot wait what else is in store for you. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. I hope you enjoyed Irina's story. And if you would like to be my spotlight client in a few months, then check out my transformational coaching program, Brilliant Speakers Academy. You can learn more about it at www.brilliantspeakersacademy.com. Have a great week, and I can't wait to connect with you again next Wednesday. Bye for now.